bastard here. I've got a product here that has been import dumped into Australia. You, um, I've been floating around for a couple of months as they slowly, I mean painfully slowly, uh, flush through their inventory. May or may not come back because it's a European limited edition. And uh, I've already launched the video of the other flavour of the film is in uh, yes. I was the only person outside of mainland Europe and possibly I think the UK to publish a video. So this was never meant to leave the EU zone. But we've got it down under and I've got some. It's the Hagen does and this particular version. Jasmine or Raspberry and Pomegranate and Limited Edition. Ooh, sounds sexy. That's what it looks like from the front. I glued on a new label. I was know, it's a bit squished because of where I've been keeping the freezer, the doorway, so quite squished. There's all your ingredients, nutritional panel that has been domesticated. And uh, made in France, that is um, the only things you can buy in Australia that are made in France without going to a specialist grocer and getting absolutely fucked sideways because it is so horrifically expensive. Is a um, those are uh, bars bar, snicker bars, bounty bar, little ice cream bars. They're made in France, believe it or not. That also explains why the quality of them is absolutely breathtaking. It is second to literally nothing. It's a shame Cadbury closed their factories in the France town because the quality of French Cadbury chocolate was holy shit good. Um, practically any grocery ready made in France is absolutely breathtaking because labor walls over there are petty and onerous and breathtakingly crap when it comes to the conduciveness of running a business. It's stupidly expensive and worst of all you're dealing with a, a culture and people who'd rather go to a market and pay over the odds for pigeon crap covered stuff from the farmer's market. Go to an actual butcher's to get their meats, meat related supplies, and a bakery to get their actual bread. The only reason they would ever visit a supermarket is because they need to wipe their ass and they might have a bit of a craving for a soft drink. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, just licking, just licking the lid is just, oh, yeah, it's also a bit weird. Uh, so the quality of grocery items has to be absolutely stunning to get people to stay there long enough to actually buy something other than TP and I don't know, some laundry soap and some standard tablets, a dishwasher and some shower spray. And, you, know, you want them to do something other than buy the stuff you can't buy in market. A little corner shop. Now this says it has a jasmine ice cream, a raspberry and pomegranate swirl. Whoa. And by Australian standards, this ice cream is well, stupendous. It's actual ice cream for God's sake. Now I've seen videos of countless videos of Americans eating all these things. If you're eating Vegemite wrong, you always do. You gotta love fucking Tim Tams. And if someone sends you over some mustard sticks, you go, ah, 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 it smells like some bum spray the shower, it smells like something I said shower, it smells like a vaginal douche product. Or a really nasty air freshener or something like that. Well, down under, Jasmine is exactly the same. We're using air fresheners, you might wash your laundry with it, you might do your dishes with it. God forbid you can sh spray your shower with something that smells a bit like Jasmine. Because you're using spray and wipe instead of a shower spray. Um, you might go to a pharmacist and buy some products that smell like Jasmine. They're not just pots of fucking popori. It's what we call that sort of dehydrated rose petals and crap. It's pot pouring down under. That's what you call it. I don't really care. So, Jasmine. Yikes. It's also got a pretty rank colour, look at that. It's, a, it's 
really nasty shade of cream, really muddy and disgusting. It's almost, it is beige. Awful shade of beige. Oh shit, that's not bad. Actually, kind of is. The jasmine is, um, whoa. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's, it's floral, it's beautiful, it's feminine, it's kind of sexy. It's absolutely stunning, but. <laughs> Um, you're more likely down under to find something lavender flavour than jasmine and even that's an act of God it's just so weird having jasmine flavoured even if you can find one down there down under, it might be that weird bubblegum in America uh, you might find an ice cream shop once in a blue moon that has a lavender flavour and it'd be so feckless and so creamy, one water, so snitchy about. And if you're really lucky, you might find a flavouring syrup, a sort of serum, somewhere that's lavender flavoured. Um, if you're not even lucky, you'd have to move heaven, earth, and hell itself, too. No, the flavors. Flavoring serum. There is an infamous brand that makes only flavoring serums. I know they do a lot, but that's probably what you'd be finding. And that's it. You can never, ever, 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 ever find jasmine except for here. And it's, uh, wow. That's weird. Swirls and tricky. Okay. Fruit swirls and tricky. It's a kiss of fruit, of course. Well, you know, it's wild stream from the red. Not necessarily. It's just a refreshing, sweet fruit flavour. It's just, it's lovely. It would distress you from the surreal oddity of jasmine flavour. I could not repeat it enough. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that is edible down under that is jasmine flavoured. You won't be, you know, if you said have some chemicals, you could eat without dying <coughs> but if you do this oh well five bars instead of good I will personally kick your ass inside out because I did not just say that you small minded scatologically excuse you scatological excuse for a human being so this is just and it gives you a nice break from the jasmine so you don't go absolutely stark fucking raving mad because it's all encompassing it's a beautiful flavour it's also a really strong flavour and it's all encompassing the ice cream is always pretty nice it, it bakes it like an absolute genius it's not that creamy but you wouldn't notice eating ice cream even as a sort of among the fattiness about it, which is just mm, nice. They've really done the job properly here. Yeah. <sighs> well, I recommend this to an Aussie. Um, no. Nope. No, 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 no. No chance now. Nine out of ten Aussies would insist you're trying to poison them feeding them this. You 
one in ten would go on a prattling 20 minute breath rush. I can't believe it's Buchanan. About 50% of the 9 out of 10, and the other 50% would, uh, well, they'd bring it up every given opportunity for the next five or six years. Oh, you remember that? Uh, and give you a snowy backhanded smack around the chops while well, pretending it's a compliment. Um, no, I, I'm not doing that. You can if you want. You're brave, naive, or a blogger, and you want to, um, you see it's down under, and you want something, even something for Instagram, it will just make them blow their stack. All your Aussie friends, at least. If there's a store around, bloody hell, why not? To eat? Uh, don't say I didn't warn you. I've been there, done that. Arguably should have gotten the t-shirt. So that, that's why I'm not offended by this. Actually, I'm kind of intrigued. Uh, to, to me, this is the, you know, the quite literal mermaid or ice cream. I know I shouldn't. I know somewhere deep down, I'm, it's bad for me. I know I probably don't like it because it's bad for me. But by God, try and stop me. Uh, spitting a bit alarmed. I've asked it out of here.